Hello everyone, this is Lucky. I hope you've had a wonderful week. Today, we're going to use the turtle module to draw this bar graph here. Now, most of you may remember from my previous videos, I've instructed you how to use the turtle module in various ways to draw various things. So this overall shapes should not give you any problems. However, I will go over it again in addition of going over some new things. So let's get started. First, we're going to import the turtle module to let Python know that we'd like to use it since the turtle module is a built-in program. Then we're going to name our turtle. We're setting up its speed and setting up its pen size. Now we're going to type a list of values for it. You may choose your own list of values and your bar will result differently. Or I'm sorry, the, your graph would look different compared to mine. Alright, so this here is my pseudocode for that. Now, do not do what I just did here which is putting the code below you want your pseudocode to be either right after or right above your actual codes okay anyways let's move forward my list this is a list take that in good now moving forward now we're gonna define a function that would set my turtle position so I've chosen to set my turtle position a little bit to the left and going downwards a little bit because as you may know the without doing this your turtle will start drawing from the center of your window so I've picked up the pen here set my position so this right here we haven't learned yet is to set a turtle a turtle's position and draws the line from the center or from wherever its previous previous position is to this new position so that's why I've had to pick up the turtle then go there then put the pen back down and I chose to hide the turtle as well so this means high turtle HT Hi turtle okay this means that you won't see the cursor moving now notice that I don't have any turn angles in here because what's special about turtle.go to is that it doesn't change the rotation or orientation of the turtle which starts as uh, 180 to the right okay 180 degrees to the right anyways moving forward now we're defining a new function to draw these bar with the turtle and h height okay all right so the first step is to write turtle dot begin underscore fill because we're gonna be filling it with a certain color this is also new. Then we're having the turtle turn left. So its orientation is at first looking this way. Okay. So that's why we're going to have to turn left so that the turtle is pointing upwards. Then we're having the turtle travel H distance up. Then we're going to write t dot write parentheses quotation mark. So this puts a string right here, and this string we've used as the space in between here and here, here and here, here and here, here and here. 
you get what I mean so you have to play around with this a little bit to get it to center then we're gonna attach or add a string version of H what that means is the uh, written out version of the H value okay so whatever the H value is it will write it out right as you can see there now we have to put this before the line uh, the line of where you want it so as you can see right now we have turtle left turn turtle going forward and that's that then we have to put the turtle right uh, function to have it right on the very next line so now we're gonna right turn then going forward 40 and that's where it will write it then right turn again 90 degrees going downwards forward H distance going down okay then left turn we're gonna end fill at that point pick our pen up so that we don't have a line in between these these uh, bar values here then going forward 10 which is this distance the space in between each bar and putting the pen back down so that the turtle can begin the next uh, loop all right right after that we're gonna call out the function set position with the turtle lucky because so far up until this point this is a blank screen all of this that I've hi highlighted here if you were to run just this code alone you would get a blank screen because you haven't you've only uh, gave turtle instruct you you only gave the turtle instructions but you haven't instructed it to follow those instructions yet okay so this is our first call to instruction if you will and literally I'm saying hey turtle hey lucky go ahead and do what I've told you to do in this function okay so this is where lucky will go ahead and pick itself up and go to this position then put itself back down and hide itself away okay now we're gonna begin a for loop for V and XS essentially means for the values V equals values or you can name it whatever you want it's best to stay relevant to what you're doing so for V in XS which is this list right here as a matter of fact I can go ahead and just uh, put it down here so that we could see it better since our attention is down here right so for V in the list XS right now we're pretty much saying hey for each of these values do something right now at this point I can just say do whatever however since we have some conditions we want the turtle to follow we're gonna have to tweak it a bit as you can see these are different colors and those are the different conditions right so if the value or V within the list XS is larger or equals to 200 then we're setting our turtle color to blue and red essentially saying we're gonna draw in blue and fill or color in red then we're gonna run this so if I were to go ahead and just run the the highlighted code by itself then it would only draw values that are above 200 and color those okay now going forward so if these conditions are not true I mean right here so or actually if these conditions are are um, already fulfilled right so if the turtle has already drawn the any values above 200 then else if 
it will move on. So this means it will move on to the next condition. So else if the value is larger or equal to 100 but smaller than 200, then the turtle will be colored blue and yellow and it will draw the bar. So if I were to just have these codes alone, then it would only draw values from above 200 and below 200. So it will only draw values from 100 and up, essentially. Okay? You guys get what I'm saying, I think. If not, you can always email me for questions. Now, the last one is very special. As you can see, right after my else here, I don't have any kind of conditions for it meaning no value uh, value or numeric conditions right now. And what that means is that as long as these two things are filled, if there's any other thing that needs to be done, the turtle will do it. So, since we've already set conditions for if and else if, then else, we just do the rest, essentially. So, now this one is going to do make, make the uh, turtle blue and color in green and it will draw bar so draw bars are function for drawing the bar uh, lucky with V height so this obviously will only draw values below 200 because these two conditions here has already dictated everything else okay great so now we've set up everything all we have to do is run the program first you save then you run look at that it's a beautiful thing alright guys once again my name is Lucky I hope you have a wonderful weekend if you have any questions please give me an email at l-o-c-c-i-n-g at gmail.com take care now bye bye then